in today's presentation on Chagas disease. We will cover information regarding the organism that causes Chagas disease, its epidemiology, we will also talk about the history of the disease, how it is transmitted, species that it affects, and prevention and control measures for the disease. In 1907, while working among railroad workers, physician Carlos Chagas first became aware of the barbarian, a blood-sucking bug infect infesting parts of the region in Brazil. He quickly became interested in the insect and investigated whether it could be a transmitter for any parasites of man. By 1909, a new species of Trachinosum was discovered and the first published reports followed. Until the 1930s, little attention was given to Chagas disease as a public health issue. Epidemiology. T. cruzi can be found in the Americas from the U.S. to Chile in central Argentina. In the U.S., this parasite is thought to be endemic in approximately the southern half of the country, as well as in the California areas. Chagas disease is most common among people who live in substandard housing in developing areas. Triatomine vectors for T. cruzi are present in the U.S. However, only a few local, locally acquired vector-borne cases have been diagnosed in people. The lower prevalence rate in the U.S. is mainly due to higher standards of living and the absence of the tretomine species that are well adapted to living in human houses. According to the CDC, Chagas is considered a neglected infection of poverty in the U.S. Since it is found mostly in those that with limited resources and limited access to medical care, people in certain occupational risk groups may be exposed. This includes veterinarians, technicians, and laboratory personnel. Individuals who work with wildlife and hunters are at risk also, as well as travelers to areas where Chagas is endemic. T. cruzi occurs in more than a hundred species of mammals throughout the Americas. Infections have been reported among carnivores, in carnivores including dogs and cats, Raccoons, coyotes, rats, mice, and squirrels. Birds and fish are not susceptible to infection. Trypanosa cruzi, or T. cruzi, as it is known, is the protozoan parasite that is being transmitted through insect vector. The parasite itself appears differently around the world. Many people show no symptoms when infected. Chagas disease is a vector-borne disease transmitted primarily by trotamine insects, which are also called kissing bugs and beetles. Other ways the disease can be transferred is to, through blood transfusion, organ transplant, congenital, as in from mother to fetus, and through contaminated, contaminated food or drink. The process of infection. According to the CDC, Chagas is transmitted from the infected Tratamon insect vector after it takes a blood meal and releases the Tripomastigotes and its species near the site of the bite. Inside the host, they differentiate into other forms and are released into the bloodstream. Cells from a variety of tissue can be infected. Replication resumes only when the parasite enters another cell or is ingested by another vector. The kissing bug becomes infected by feeding on human or animal blood that contains circulating parasites. Chagas disease the incubation period in humans is usually at least 5 to 14 days after exposure to the insect feces. 
20 to 40 days after blood transfusion, and 5 to 40 years after infection. Many people do not become symptomatic until the chronic stage. The acute phase is defined as the period during which the parasite can be found easily in the blood. Many people, particularly adults, are asymptomatic during this stage. The symptoms of an acute phase are highly variable and may include fever, headache, anorexia, joint pain, weakness, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and generalized or localized edema. The chronic phase is typically represented by organ failure, usually of the heart or digestive system. Heart disease is the most common form of chronic Chagas disease. There is little to no symptoms and detection is low during the chronic stage. Infection can be lifelong. The indeterminate phase is usually followed usually follows the acute phase. During this period, there is varying length. The parasite disappears from the blood. Although estimates vary, approximately 70 to 90 percent of patients in, the in this phase never become symptomatic. Most of the remaining patients enter the chronic phase after 5 to 15 years. But in few patients, this phase can last as long as 40 years. Diagnosis. The chronic phase is typically represented by organ failure, usually of the heart or digestive system. Chagas can be diagnosed by microscopy, isolation of the parasite, serology, and molecular techniques. Serology is, can be used to identify the parasites within the chronic stage. Treatment. Acute Chagas disease can be treated with antiparasitic drugs. In the U.S., drugs may be available only under an investigational new drug protocol from the D CDC Drug Service. Treatment of acute and congenital cases is recommended to prevent development of chronic disease. Antiparasitic drugs are less effective in the indeterminate stage and the chronic stages. And treatment recommendations may vary with the age of the patient and other factors. There are significant side effects with these drugs, which must be given long term. In the chronic stage, treatment of cardiomyopathy is mainly symptomatic and similar to treatment of other causes of heart disease. A pacemaker may be necessary and a heart transplant can be considered. Surgery, balloon dilation of the gastroesophageal junction and or symptomatic relief may be caused, may be used for chag ch chagasic mesophagus or megacolon, which is one of the symptoms of the chronic stage. The morbidity and mortality rates may vary within the stage of the disease. Approximately 5% of people infected with T. cruzi develop acute symptoms. Estimated of the case fatality for acute Chagas disease range from less than 5% to approximately 8%. These deaths mostly children. The CDC estimates that 20 to 30 percent of humans infected with T. cruzi eventually develop chronic disease. Estimates from other sources vary from 10 to 50 percent. 
the reason for the progression of the disease in some patients but not in others is unknown. It may be related to host genetic factors, the dose of the parasites, the number of inoculations, the strain of the parasite, and immunological or nutritional factors. Cardiac disease is often fatal. Prevention and control. Chagas is not a nationally notifiable disease. Currently, states in the U.S. that are, are not required by federal law to report cases of Chagas disease. However, Chagas disease is reportable by state mandates in Arizona, Massachusetts, and Tennessee. At this time, there are no plans to add Chagas disease to the list of disease which are nationally notifiable. Prevention and humans. Contact with the insect should be prevented. They usually feed at night and withdraw with um and withdraw to their hiding place in daylight. In endemic areas, houses can be improved by plastering walls, improving flooring, and taking other measures to remove the cracks where insects hide. Triatomine insects are often found in basements, which should be avoided. Sleeping inside a screened area under a premethrin bed net or in an air-conditioned room is safest. Bed nets should be tucked tightly under the mattress before dusk. Animal pens and storage areas should be kept away from homes. Regularly spraying the insecticides in and around houses can reduce the number of insects and in some cases eliminate them. Food that might be contaminated should be cooked thoroughly. Also, blood and organ donors should be screened to prevent transmission by these routes. Pregnant woman, women can be tested to identify cases where Congenital transmission may occur, and, inf and the infant should be monitored and treated if necessary. People in occupational risk groups should take additional precautions. Veterinarians and technicians should protect their skin and mucous membranes from contamination with parasites in blood or tissue. Individuals who work in the w wildlife or hunter and hunters should also take pre precautions especially when handling blood or tissues. Laboratory personnel should, also, and should use appropriate personal protective equipment, including gloves and eye protection, while processing blood samples, cultures, and infected insects. Travelers to areas where Chagas disease is common should wear thick clothing that covers as much of the body as possible. Heavy long sleeve shirts, long pants, socks, and shoes are recommended. Sleeping in substandard housing should, if possible, be avoided. Vaccines are currently not available for humans. However, precautions can be taken to reduce the risk of infection, particularly in countries where the prevalence of chagas is high. And here are my references. Thank you for listening.